Just days after severe icy weather, we are once again on a first alert weather day. This go around is bringing widespread power outages across the state as well as some flooding. Fox 12's Kander Kent is tracking conditions in the Milwaukee area tonight and is live where one family is dealing with quite a cleanup. Kandra, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, uh, that's uh, right, Anna. Quite a cleanup here. And uh, luckily and fortunately, the house is okay. The roof is okay. You can see it behind me here. But there are not just one, but two trees down in this front yard. I know it's getting dark. It's a little difficult to see. But one of those trees is right up next to the house. And there is actually a third tree that came crashing down this morning. That one's in the backyard. We're keeping our distance here. There was some worry about another tree. Um, but this neighborhood does have power, but thousands of other power customers in the Milwaukee area will be in the dark tonight. The ice is gone, but now it's the wind and heavy rains wreaking havoc across the Pacific Northwest. Well, it's crazy weather. Flooding, downed trees and power outages kept road and repair crews on their toes Tuesday and gave neighbors another reason to stay home for at least the second time in just a week. Use the generator and yeah, we have a generator that's uh, hooked up to our refrigerator. Okay, and that just keeps the refrigerator. Yeah, okay. light candles and uh, play board games, <laughs> headlamps. Portland General Electric reported more than 100,000 Oregon customers without power by the afternoon, with most of its outages concentrated in the Portland metro area and Willamette Valley. The heavy wind, a spectacle for some. Uh, our trampoline actually lifted up and flew across the backyard onto our top of our shed. And downright scary for others. All three of these came down within about 20 minutes of each other. Two trees in the front, one tree in the backyard, somehow missing Ryan Dillon's home each time time. There was a lot of crashing and there was a lot of loud popping sounds from the trees and it was just all it was kind of surreal honestly seeing all of that and hearing all the trees snapping and stuff. While a family car did fall victim to one tree everyone and everything else is all okay for now. But now it's just kind of making sure no other trees come down and hit other houses or and then all the cleanup stuff that's going to be required. Power companies are warning people to stay away from those down power lines. And of course, customers that are in the dark are wondering, when will my power be restored? Um, you can look online at some of those outage maps and sometimes there will be an estimate. I know I checked here in the Milwaukee area where they don't have any estimated time uh, for getting power back on. So, you know, just be being patient out there. Um, and hopefully, you know, sometime later tonight. But we'll keep you posted um, as more uh, more uh, people are restored with their power. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.